हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू द मैथ्स क्लास कीर्ति रुस्तगी टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट पैरल लाइन्स एंड ट्रांसवर्सल लाइन पैरल लाइन्स आर वॉट कैन यू सी इन दिस पिक्चर पैरल लाइन्स दे आर ऑलवेज सेम डिस्टेंस अपार्ट एंड दे विल नेवर इंटरसेक्ट is transversal can you see this here we have two parallel lines and one another line is going to cut given these two lines the third line is known as transversal a line that crosses a pair of parallel lines that means transversal is a line that intersects two or more lines at different points can you see this here i have shown you one set a and set b in set a t is a transversal why because in different example can you see this third line is going to cut more than two parallel lines so these lines are parallel and the third line is going to cut is known as transversal set b t is not a transversal if parallel lines are cut by a transversal if such type of a figure you have then eight angles and pairs of angles are formed can you see this yeah we have eight angles angle 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and eight. can you see l and m they are parallel to each other and the third line n which is a transversal so if parallel lines are cut by a transversal then eight angles and pairs of angles are formed what are those this corresponding angles now what is corresponding two angles one in the interior and one in the exterior that are on the same side of the transversal can you see this these two parallel lines are given two angles one is interior this is interior means inside and one is at exterior means outside of the transversal so corresponding angles are non adjacent and they are congruent corresponding angles are equal can you see in this picture so angle 2 will be equal to angle 6 in measurement we have what is interior what is exterior when two parallel lines are given in a figure there are two main areas one is interior that means inside part and second is exterior means outside part clear now alternate interior angles two angles in the interior of the parallel lines interior means inside they are interior in of the parallel lines and opposite to each other can you see this opposite to transversal they are inside of it so two angles in the interior of the parallel lines but they should be opposite alternate sides of the transversal can you see this yes alternate interior angles are non adjacent and they are congruent means what they will be equal in measurement suppose angle 3 says 30 degree according to that property angle 6 also will be 30 degree clear alternate exterior exterior means outside and alternate means opposite can you see this angle 2 is at outside angle 7 is also at outside they will be equal in measurement fine so two angles in the exterior of the parallel lines and on opposite side of the transversal can you see this this is your transversal they are opposite but they are at outside also alternate exterior angles are non adjacent and congruent clear then we have 
interior angles on the same side of the transversal means what interior means what inside same side of the transversal measures are supplementary their name is simply a description of where the angles are located see interior angles means inside and the same side of the transversal can you see this this is your transversal line same side and interior inside okay so they will be their total will be 180 this is also one of the property that interior on the same side of a transversal total will be 180 can you see in this figure measurement of angle 1 plus measurement of angle 2 total will come 180 because of why because according to that property interiors on the same side of transversal goes to 180 clear then vertical angles the measures are equal you know that earlier we have discussed vertical angles are always equal whether you have parallel lines or not when they will be equal when the lines intersect each other can you see this here we have in this example i have shown you two parallel one transversal they make vertical opposite if i consider this figure that means according to vertical angle opposite angle property angle 1 will be equal to angle 2 angle 3 will be equal to angle 4 in values i am talking about two values angle 5 will be equal to angle 6 and angle 7 will be equal to angle 8 clear summary what we learnt in this session parallel lines are lines that never meet second thing a transversal is a line that intersects two or more parallel lines third thing parallel lines cut by a transversal they form eight angles next pairs of angles will be either congruent or supplementary vertical angles are always equal whether you have parallel lines or not